What I'm about to share is going to shock and surprise you. Stay till the end of this video for a big surprise. Are you ready for one of the biggest shakeups in human history? Chat GPT, the AI model that's about to turn a lot of what we know about life and work on its head. So I recently sent this message to my marketing department. I said, if any of you are not using Chat GPT, you are already obsolete in the workplace. And if you are using Chat GPT, you probably will now be able to cut one to two hours a day off your workload. That message was sent because the more I dive into ChatGPT, the more shocked and surprised I am by just what is possible. Let me give you an example. The caption that you see here was created by ChatGPT for a video I was creating on sleep hacks. This is what I asked ChatGPT to write. Notice, it optimized the writing for Instagram. It added hashtags. It even added a dose of humor. Writing a caption like that would typically take a writer, a good writer, about 30 minutes. With ChatGPT, we were able to generate this caption in 46 seconds. Now, this is just one idea. Another way we're using ChatGPT is to come up with titles for blog posts. We're using it to summarize content. One of the hardest parts about writing is going back to your work and tidying things up, summarizing things. ChatGPT is taking content that could be 500 words and then summarizing it to two or 300 words instantly, saving hours and hours and hours of editorial work. And it doesn't stop there. Recently, I asked ChatGPT to write a poem about my daughter, Eve. Eve absolutely loved the poem. But then my 15-year-old son one up me by showing how to truly use ChatGPT. You see, the skill that is emerging in the world here is prompt engineering. And my 15-year-old son naturally got this. I didn't even realize he had this skill. This is what he fed into ChatGPT. And the poem that emerged was this hilarious, humorous poem about my daughter Eve running for president of the United States in the style of Donald Trump. This poem made me laugh out loud. It is hilariously good, but it came from a 15-year-old knowing how to properly prompt a machine. I just ended hiring of all writers on my team. Now, I'm speaking as a writer here myself. I've written three national best-selling books, and I can tell you that if you are just a writer, a lot of your job just became obsolete. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you what to do next. But be warned, ChatGPT is going to disrupt entire industries. The robots are coming, and they're faster and better than we ever imagined. Are you ready to compete? And don't think you can hide from ChatGPT. It's the future of work, and those who embrace it are going to thrive. Those who don't are going to be left behind. Now let's go on to education. A centuries-old education model is about to be completely turned on its head. It's time to say goodbye to outdated methods and say hello to personalized learning and AI-powered assessments. ChatGPT has already passed exams to get into elite MBA programs and law school. And this means a student armed with ChatGPT could basically write college entrance essays in seconds. I read that some educators are looking at how to figure out tools that can detect AI-based writing, but this is useless. You're not going to be able to. Remember the calculator? When the calculator was released, we thought it was going to disrupt education. Education adapted. Education is going to have to adapt to ChatGPT too. It's time for educators to step up and embrace technology. Those who do will be leading a new change in education. And for those clinging to traditional methods, it's time to face the facts. The old ways are gone, and you're going to have to adapt or be left behind. Have you heard of the philosopher Tim Urban? He wrote this amazing thesis about the idea of the human colossus. Let me explain. ChatGPT is the embodiment of philosopher Tim Urban's concept of the human colossus. The human colossus is a term that refers to the collective intelligence and problem-solving ability of human beings. Tim shows this diagram on his blog. It describes a vast network of individuals who, through their unique perspectives, experiences, and knowledge, can come together to tackle the world's biggest problems and create solutions that a single person could never achieve on their own. And this is exactly what ChatGPT is doing. By harnessing the power of artificial intelligence, ChatGPT is helping us create this concept of the human colossus. It's allowing each of us to solve problems, to do more than we never could do before through collective intelligence. ChatGPT is augmenting the human colossus by allowing us to make decisions and solve problems at a faster, more rapid pace. It's bridging the gap between human 
and machine, creating a new era of collaboration between both. But there's a dark side. With its ability to generate text, ChatGPT isn't just changing the way we work and learn, it's also changing what we define as truth. It's also challenging the very concept of truth and authenticity. The line behind what's real and what's fake is becoming blurred, and we must be cautious of the potential consequences of relying too much on AI-generated content. We must use ChatGPT responsibly, but also be vigilant about its impact on society. The future may be bright, but they are dark storm clouds on the horizon. The human colossus is evolving, but we must be conscious of how we use this form of collective intelligence to shape our world for the better. In conclusion, ChatGPT is not just a tool, it's a game changer, and it's about to completely reshape the world of work and education. So share this video, spark a debate, and get ready to be part of one of the most exciting times in human history. The future is here, and ChatGPT is leading the way. Okay, stop. I told you to stay till the end, because here is what I wanted to share. This entire script and everything I've been reading was created by ChatGPT. What did I do? I fed it ideas. ChatGPT wrote 85% of everything I just said. The only parts I put in that were original were my stories of me as a founder speaking to my team and the story of my child writing that poem. ChatGPT wouldn't know that because these are personal stories. Everything else was written exactly by ChatGPT. I just read it word for word. This is where it's becoming to get a little scary. Now, let me show you what I did. I did what is called prompt engineering. I put in a series of prompts into ChatGPT to ask it to create this script for me. I first asked it to create a list of how ChatGPT is disrupting work, then a list of how ChatGPT is disrupting education. I asked it to put this list together and create a script for a video on Instagram. I then asked it to make that script personable and humorous. I then asked it if it understood the concept of Tim Urban's Human Colossus. So here I'm integrating a new idea with ChatGPT. It said it did, and it explained the idea to me fluently. I then asked it to integrate this Human Colossus idea into the script. The entire time I spent on this was seven minutes. That was all. Now, this is where things have changed massively. Today, every email you see from Mind Valley is first conceived by a human and then fed into ChatGPT for optimization. Most of the captions you see across our Instagram are conceptualized by a human and fed into ChatGPT to optimize, including the caption below this video. Now, this brings us back to one of the most frightening things. Are schools going to ban ChatGPT? Some will try. And I think this is futile and stupid. I employ 400 people. And today, the number one thing I look at on a person's resume is prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is what I did to create this script. It is the knowledge of how to prompt ChatGPT as an AI to deliver results. It also applies to how artists can prompt AI-powered art tools like Midjourney to create art. If you get prompt engineering, you can create amazing things. Now, schools are designed to make people employable. I'm an employer and I want people to know prompt engineering. Just like my son could create that elaborate poem in seconds using the right prompts, I want everybody to understand prompt engineering for art and for text generation models like ChatGPT. If you don't know that, you are useless in today's job market. And I mean that with deep sincerity. You are simply not going to be competitive. If schools are gonna produce good students who are employable, prompt engineering is the number one skill we need these students to learn today. This does not take away from human creativity. It doesn't take away from writing. Instead, what's happening is that we are becoming smarter as a species. ChatGPT has become a container for our collective writings, our collective ideas, and it's made writing and communication more accessible to everyone. I'm a writer with three national bestsellers, and I know that my skills as a writer just became significantly less valuable, and I'm okay with that, because everyone else just enhanced their skills in writing. So schools need to encourage kids to use ChatGPT and not take that away. If all you did was write a blog post in the past, you're gonna be replaced. What you need to do is learn how to write blog posts 
utilizing ChatGPT, how to use ChatGPT for research, for SEO optimization, how to use AI art tools like Midjourney to create beautiful graphics you can put in the post. Then you got to step up and learn how to market your posts, how to find customers, how to sell your ideas and your writing skills, how to build a following. You have to step up that ladder of complexity. And I can tell you, if you're willing to approach it with an open mind, you're going to become more talented than you ever imagined. I don't think ChatGPT is a bad thing. It is an incredible equalizing force that's going to make the world better. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it, and more importantly, start using ChatGPT.